What is going on everyone? Day in the fucking life. Um, I just woke up there, uh, had breakfast, it was steak and eggs and a smoothie, <clears throat> a banana smoothie with protein and coffee thrown in. More on that another time. But um, I've got to go off now, uh, it's coming up to 10 to 12 and I've got to do a talk at the Irish Bloggers Association. I've got to give a talk about uh, quitting your nine to five and turning your blogging into a full-time business. Uh, so that should be exciting and um, I really, I haven't really prepared a speech. It's just, uh, they said do 10 minutes of talking. So I said, look, pff, I love public speaking. That's 10 minutes, I've longer YouTube videos than that. It, it should be a breeze. But uh, so I'm gonna hop in the car now, uh, get to that, and I'll probably try set this camera up so you know you see it, you can see what I say. And then I'm also going to Forbidden Fruit Festival today. The organizers threw me a ticket, uh, weekend pass, so that's pretty cool. If the weather holds, then I will hit that up. And I think I presume they want me to vlog it. Um, so yeah, I think I might do the do the talk and pick up a GoPro just on the way, because I have to get one anyways. So uh, anyways, look, here I'm rambling on, let's get started with the day. Also, outfit of the day is a pair of skinny jeans from Top Man, uh, Converse, this t-shirt, things from H&M, could be Zara actually, and um, yeah, some biceps as well. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. Robinson. Uh, hey everyone, so my name is Rob Lipson. I'm 23 years old and I'm a fitness blogger, Facebooker, Instagrammer, YouTuber, and I also own my own online business and range of gym wear. So today I'm gonna to be talking about something scary Something very exciting too, and it's something I did a few months ago, and that is quitting your 9 to 5 and turning your blogging passion into full-time business. And I'm talking about a business that, that makes real money, not monopoly money, this is real. <laughs> so I'm going to give you the, the steps on how to get there and just kind of use myself as, as an example and give you some tips too. And this will also help you grow your blog too. So number one, is build up your name. Okay, so how, how do we do that, okay? Because there is so many fit, everyone, everyone on Instagram these days is, is a fitness model, okay? So how do you be different? Be unique and do things that will get people to talk about you. You know, six or seven months ago, I, you know, I watched so much YouTube myself, that, that's my main form of social media, and you know, the YouTube fitness community is massive in America. But I noticed there was no Irish fitness YouTubers. There, there's none. So I said, well, I'm, I'm gonna get in on that. So I started, you know, making videos, talking about nutrition, training, recording workouts and stuff like that. And you know, everyone said, well, who, who the hell's this guy recording himself in the gym? And you know, Ireland is such an island mentality. You know, when someone does something out of the ordinary, everyone's like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Stepping out of line. So you know, a lot of people talked about it and it grew really quickly. So that's my first tip, is do things that will get people to talk about you. Now, secondly, is be good at what you do. You know, I read countless amounts of training and nutrition studies because, you know, if I get up and start making videos and I don't know what I'm talking about, no one's gonna listen to me. And I also make sure to always, when I'm giving out advice, I'm sure that I know what I'm talking about. If I don't know what I'm talking about, I'll admit it. I won't say it, I won't talk about it. Because no one's gonna listen to you if you're just giving out unclear and bad advice. And that goes for anything, that goes for makeup, it goes for, you know, if you're into gaming, whatever it is. Just because I'm using fitness as an example here, it doesn't mean that, you know, you can't use it for your own example. Because I presume there's, there's a lot of makeupers in here, you know, <laughs> a lot of females, lot of females in the room. <laughs> So, you know, use what I'm talking about for yourself too. And number three is learn how to monetize it. Social media, in my opinion, is the best form of advertising these days. Because you can put an ad for your service 
in the newspaper, the Evening Herald, whatever it is, and only 20% who read it are going to be interested in it. You know, so let's say I put an ad for you know, personal training in the Evening Herald. Only 20% are actually going to be interested in fitness. The others could be you know, some grannies who just want to read their horoscopes or whatever it is. So whereas if I have a big fitness Instagram following, 100% of the people who follow that are going to be interested in fitness. So that really goes to show the power of social media and how important it is to build your name up on that. Not to mention, you can make as much posts on social media as you want, whereas you know it costs money to advertise on TV and the newspaper and stuff like that. So it does read the power of social media. Things go viral. I just you know, social media is a job in itself. You have to put in hours and hours every week. So it's really it's not just a pastime. It becomes a full time thing when you want to make it your business. And now number four is quitting your job. Uh, I don't know about you, but you know, I've been there, I've worked in 9 to 5, it was actually 9 to 6. 9 to 6, Monday to Friday, 20 days off a year. That's my idea, hell. I, I, I couldn't do that, you know. I said a couple of months ago, I said, I'm 22, I'm, I'm too young to be dreading waking up in the morning. And I said, this isn't what I'm interested in. And I said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to give this a crack. So, my only advice there is make sure you will be able to support yourself when you go and set up your own business, do what you're passionate. And you know, there was a month where I was trying to do both of them. I was trying to do my online business, I was trying to do my gym wear, and I was trying to work a nine to six as well. I couldn't, I couldn't do both, and I couldn't apply myself fully to my business. And it was, each other, they were both slowing each other down. I wasn't giving my all my job, and you know, my business was only slowly getting better. So when I quit, you know, I put full time into my own business, skyrocket. You know, the amount of effort you put in, you'll get back. And now, number five, last part, is do it. Literally, you only live once. Well, why would you want to do something that you're not truly passionate about? If, you're, if you don't do what you're passionate about, I, I fully believe that you'll never be truly great at it. You know, who, who here, I presume everyone's, a blogger of some sort, I'm definitely in the wrong room. But <laughs> who, who here works a, a nine to five that doesn't really have anything to do with their, their passion? Yeah, uh, a lot of people. And like, even a, a, I talk to a lot of my friends about this, and they're the same too. And just think, you know, if you do what you love to do, you'll never work a day in your life. And it's honestly the best feeling ever. It's great. So that was my last, my last tip, is just to do it. And um, I'll be hanging around afterwards if anyone wants to ask me any questions about it. And um, it's going to be a great day. I'm glad that um, I could be speaking here. All right, so that's all wrapped up. Um, went well, considering I, you know, just wrote it this morning, and loads of people have tweeted me saying, um, you know, they really liked it. Also, yeah, follow me on Twitter as well if you ever want to ask me a question, because you know my Twitter is pretty inactive. So it's at Rob Lipset, and you know I'll definitely see your tweet. Um, so now, it's in the Radisson, it's pretty nice. Now I'm gonna meet up with the Boo Radleys and uh, get my day going. Get, uh, get ready for forbidden fruit. All right, all right, so just was in town and stopped off in Topman, pick up a fresh shirt for today, kind of a festivally short shirt. So see, the problem is, right, um, this is oversized. So like I put it on and yo, it fits really well around the shoulders, but it's kind of long in length. But hey, I guess that's what all the hip kids are doing nowadays. So, uh, you know, I was a bit unsure, but I bought it anyways. And um let's get a bit of iron here. Now I wouldn't mind getting the haircut. It's looking a bit fluffy on top, but uh I don't know if I've got time. So maybe, maybe I'll get the haircut and what the hell else do I have to do? Oh yeah, pick up alcohol. Um obviously I'm not much of a big drinker, but when I do it is usually a zero calorie mixer like Monster Zero and just some vodka. Um my favorite for like taste and everything but uh yeah so i'll see if i can i don't know should i like i don't want to bring my can on to the to the festival but i see i'm not planning on getting too fucked up anyways look on with it 
Right, so yeah, I got the haircut, had to be done. And also, I got home, I found this shirt that I have that kind of fits better, it's way, um, uh, it's pretty similar, so I'm just gonna wear this, probably return the other one. You know when you put on something, and you're just not feeling it, and you're like, yeah, you know, there's, there's some big decisions to be made here. But anyways, uh, time to abort the proper camera, the cat on, and uh, it's gonna be a phone vlog for the rest, because, you know, anything can happen, and I don't wanna lose this camera. Because that would be a big hit to the channel. Anyways, see you at the pre-drinks. Hey, don't I, have just, oh, the no, don't I <laughs> just have the best friends in the whole wide world? And look, check, check what they knew I was coming. So, they brought me games. Alright, I'll more over there. I know, there you go. I'm just the best friends in the whole wide world. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get sick.